What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Wyatt Wiggins D, one and only, and we are here with your daily announcements. Let's kick off the show with sports from John. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your weekly sports update. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced Tuesday that the state will soon allow mobile sports betting services. The governor's office also noted in this announcement that the move would help funding for schools and other services. This means all those fantasy draft leagues could potentially become a lot more serious, at least in New York as of right now, and potentially the rest of the U.S. in years to come. For our own Wolfpack Sports, our football team lost to Monterey Trail by a score of 57-21, to and their next game is this Saturday at Davis High School, where they look to come back to an even 1-1 record. Good luck, fellas. Our softball team received their first loss this year. They played their last game and lost 13-5 to Pleasant Grove, which gives them a record of 3-1, and one, and they play Franklin tomorrow, Thursday, April 8th, at Franklin High School at 4 o'clock. Good luck, girls. Lastly, our baseball team, however, had a game canceled this week due to McClatchy High School varsity team having a COVID outbreak, but look to make their record 7-0 and this weekend against Placer. Good luck, Wolfpack. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan, and this has been your weekly sports update. Thanks, John. Hey, Dylan, do you enjoy art? No, actually, I'm horrible at it. Oh. Well, for those who are interested in art, Studio Club is hosting the April Art Contest. For more info, check your Synergy email for a message sent from Miss Wright. Now let's hand it over to Josiah and Dylan again for our new segment. What's up, Wolfpack? We got a new segment for y'all. It's called This Day in History. This is where we'll look back at a historical event that happened on the same day as the show. Today, let's talk about the first ever modern Olympic Games. Ooh, tell me more. On this very day in 1896, the first ever modern Olympic Games were held. Although the first Olympics were in 776 BC, there was a 1,500-year hiatus on the Olympic Games after Roman Emperor Theodosius I banned them. It was an ancient Olympics that was held for four years, occurring during the religious festival honoring the Greek god Zeus. Initially, the Olympic competition was limited to track races, but later, many other events were added, including wrestling, boxing, horse chariot racing, and military competitions. The pentathlon, introduced in 708 BC, consists of a foot race, the long jump, the discus, the javelin throw, and wrestling. In the first modern Olympic Games, 280 participants from 13 nations completed in 43 events. Fast forward more than 100 years later, and the Summer Olympic Games returned to Athens with more than 11,000 athletes competing from 202 countries. Well, thanks for joining us on today's edition of This Day in History. Back to the Anchors. Thank you, me and Josiah. Hey, Wolfpack, Strive for Strength is hosting a Strive for Strength retreat through Zoom on Saturday, April 10th. The meeting will discuss depression, anxiety, body image, women's issues, and is open to young women from ages 12 to 18. Thanks for tuning in, Wolfpack. And as always, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is a pack. Have a wonderful wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.